Suppose we want to build a truss bridge that provides a passage for vehicles across a canal. The structure is going to be constructed in such a way that the vehicle load transfers to the two side trusses via a series of beams supporting the bridge deck. The bridge is expected to support the maximum load of a truck having three axles. For the sake of our analysis, this can be viewed as a series of concentrated loads spaced according to the distance between the axles. So, we wish to determine the maximum impact that the moving load series could have on a given truss member. More specifically, we want to determine the truck location on the bridge that induces maximum axial compressive or tensile force in the member. We can solve this problem using influence lines. But before we get into the analysis details, let's visualize how the load transfers from the truck to the truss joints. In this visualization, I am going to assume that the entire load of the truck is concentrated at its center of gravity. As shown here, the bridge deck rests on seven beams, each attached to two truss joints, one on either side of the bridge. Here are the beams supporting the deck, and here are the exact same beams shown attached to the truss joints. When the truck enters the bridge, when the load is directly above the outermost beam, the entire load transfers to that beam. The load is then distributed to the two truss joints supporting the beam. When the truck moves forward, when it is somewhere between the first beam and the second beam, the load is distributed between the two beams in proportion to its distance from them. In turn, the beam loads are transferred to their respective end truss joints, like this. So, as the truck moves forward, this pattern of load transfer shifts forward from joint to joint until the vehicle leaves the bridge.